I'm Andre Segura of the American Civil Liberties Union. The Supreme Court just decided the case about Arizona's controversial immigration law, SB 1070. The court decided that if an officer stops you and believes that you might be undocumented, then the officer can ask you questions about your immigration status. But this case is only about Arizona's immigration law. No matter what state you live in, though, it is important to know that we all have fundamental rights even if you do not have papers, and the Supreme Court did nothing to change that. You have the right not to be profiled or discriminated against because of your race or your national origin. If you're being questioned by police, then you have the right to ask if you're free to leave. If the officer says yes, then you should do so and walk away quietly. If the officer says no, then you have the right to ask why. You do not have to agree to a search by police officers, and you should say that you do not consent to a search of yourself of your belongings, or of your vehicle. You do not have to say anything to police officers. In South Carolina, you may want to give your name if a police officer asks. You don't have to, but if you refuse, it could be used as a reason to arrest you. You do not have to give your address, social security number, telephone number, or date of birth. If you're stopped while you're the driver of a car, you must provide your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance if you have them. These rules may be different in other states. But remember, you do not have to say anything about your immigration status or about where you were born or about how you entered this country because that information could be used later against you, including to even deport you. If you're arrested, say that you wish to remain silent and ask for a lawyer immediately. Do not sign anything without first speaking to a lawyer. And remember that whatever happens, do not argue with police, do not resist arrest, and never provide false documents.